Hey, Mark from Whole Latte Lover. Very excited today to introduce the Gaja Anima. We got Todd behind the camera today. Hello. Um, so the Anima, there's three models of the Anima. We have the deluxe model here. There's a regular Anima and then a Prestige that's above it. What sets this one apart is the screen and also it uses a cappuccino tori for dealing with milk. So you've got just a pitcher of milk here. I'm going to get uh, some milk froth going for a latte macchiato and then we can talk about some of the other parts of the machine here. So I'm just going to push the milk froth button here. It's that simple. And it's going to start dispensing that froth into our glass. Now while it's doing that, let's take a look at the other buttons here. We've got espresso, espresso lungo. Here's where you choose uh, your coffee strength. Okay, I'm going to zoom down yeah. for a minute. Yeah, you know, let's take a look at the, the kind of the froth you're getting there. Yeah. So it's really easy to use. I, you know, I kind of like these pickup tubes. You could put them into a pitcher or a full quart of milk or whatever you want. Um, over on the other side, so we saw the milk froth. And this we can get hot water out of that same area for uh, tea or a Americano. I'm going to stop our froth here, leave us a little room to get some espresso in there. So let's put that under, and again, we got, this is six inch glass, and we can fit that. I like that we can fit the tall glasses under the spouts here. So I'm going to start my espresso, which I've already programmed. It does come in, you know, from the factory with a normal set of uh, coffee lengths, if you will, or espresso. So a little bit few shots of the machine here while it's doing it. Yeah. So it's very nice. So again, we got the stainless up top and on the front here, um, some plastic surrounds, but it is, it is a very pretty machine and extremely narrow as far as these machines go at about eight and a half inches wide. So there's our latte macchiato coming out, our espresso, as you can see, it's got that nice layering here that everybody likes so much. Yeah, that is nice. Um, Let's talk about, oh, let's go over the top of the machine here. So again, stainless up here, um, our water tank, which you can fill right at the machine, or you take this out, take it to the sink, fill it up. It will take a maybe a water filter. We do recommend yeah. using those. You see the display lets you know when you're out of water, yeah. or when the water reservoir is out. And then over on the other side up top, we've got another door. Right here is a bypass doser. This is if you want to use some pre-ground coffee, you'd put it right in there. It's really nice for decaf late in the day, if you like that. But then the Real business is under here. There's where your fresh whole bean coffee goes. And you've got a grinder in here. It's a flat ceramic burr grinder with five grind settings. And you need to adjust it by pushing down and turning with this tool here. Yeah. And for espresso, I like to have the finest setting myself. And then also you can vary that a little bit on your roast level too. For a really dark coffee, you might want to go just a little bit coarser, that kind of thing. Um, so we'll get this out of the way. Now I'll show you, it's very easy to program the machine. We're going to do a shot of espresso here. And again, it comes already programmed, but you can change any of the lengths here. So all you do is you just press and hold one of the buttons and wait till the machine says memo, like it does there. You hear that grinder running, now it's going to dispense. Then when we've got the amount we want, we're going to press a little check button here. Oh, missed it. Oh, no. I, okay. well, oh, it's not there yet. Okay. Not there yet. Okay. So it's going to dispense our espresso, and I'm going to go, I don't know, about right here or so. And let's see, yeah, let's take a look at the shot here as it comes out, see if we get some nice crema. Yeah, really nice. So all I'm going to do now is just, that's about the amount I want, so I'm going to press that check button. And now it'll store that amount. And then every time that I press that button until I change it, that's the amount I'm going to get. And you can see our pretty nice looking shot there. Um, you can, now, so you also have a longer one here. Now, either of these two buttons, if you press it twice, it'll make you double the volume. And yeah, the that's why you've got those brew, two spots. Grind tamp and brew. So yes. You get, yeah. So no, no let up in strength or anything like that. Um, you do have, again, we have the five strengths that we can choose from here. That, that would indicate that you're going to use that bypass dose or a little scoop there. And we can go up through the five strengths if you so want. So how many grams is it? Uh, it Dust does. Between. At the lowest dose, it's 6.5 grams, and at the highest dose, it's it's 11.5 grams, which nice. is that's, that's a pretty that's good heavy for a single shot. Yeah. yeah, that's a pretty heavy single shot if you if you like them that way. Um, so again, it uses the cappuccino tori. Let's take a look inside the machine here. So this is where your used coffee goes. The pucks, they go into there. It has a capacity of 15, and then this is the drip tray. And Todd, you like those baffles in there, so as you go to empty this, it... Uh, yeah, you can walk and not spill the water in it, because those baffles keep it from splashing. Um, it's also, actually really nice. Yeah. Uh, on the front here, it's got a little pop-up indicator that lets you know when that's full, but the machine will also remind you in the display here mm -hmm. that it needs to be emptied. You can see it's telling me right now that 
that yeah. the uh, drip tray is out. So I put that back in, mm -hmm. and that'll go away. I also want to take a look at the brew group over here. So I'm going to pull that back out. This is your little mini barista inside the machine. Pulls right out. You take this to the sink about once a week and just give it a rinse, let it dry, pop it back in, and you're ready to go. But that handles all the things a barista would do at a cafe, the, the tamping and, and dosing and all that kind of thing. Slides right back in. Closes okay. up. It's kind of nice with this too. Also, listen when he pushes in how it clicks. It's a nice. Yeah. Seems silly, but it's nice. Very positive closing. There's a little button on the side here. You push to release it. Yeah, you, you know when that's yeah. in there. A little float over here. Mm -hmm. Let's you know when the uh, drip tray is full. Did we talk about the edge here yet? Uh, no, I don't think we did. And you really, you this is something you really liked about this machine. A little thing, but it, little things make the difference, right? So here it, it it it's raised a little around the edge. So as things drip, they're not going to go over the edge, which we've seen on. Some other machines. Yeah, a lot of machines the water just come over the edge out of the counter. Yeah. This he, is a real nice little thing, but it's, a, it's nice. And you don't want a messy counter. Now, so we talked about how you program the buttons. Let's take a look at the menu system here. And it's, very, it's a very straightforward, very easy to use machine as far as these go. So here's where you adjust your coffee temperature. And you have yep. three different temperatures you could choose from. You can set a time for it to go into standby mode, anywhere from 15 minutes to three hours. Now, when you turn these machines on, they come, they're ready to go real quick, right about 30 seconds. Here you can just change the uh, display contrast. Uh, here you, you get a water hardness test strip with the machine. It looks like this. You test your water, you enter the info here. Then you tell it whether you're using the water filter or not. And with those two pieces of information, the number of coffees that you brewed, it'll tell you when it's time to decalcify the machine and you do that from right here. And then you can reset everything right to the factory defaults if you want. Um, so very easy to use machine. When the machine turns on and turns off, it does an automatic rinsing of the coffee circuit, so it gets it warmed up as well. Um, yeah, there's one thing to get out of the program mode. Just hit this button over here, yep. and you're back out. Um, so that's the Gaja Anima. Now we really, you know, just to recap a little bit, it uses the Cappuccino Tori this, on the deluxe model. Um, it also has the screen here. <coughs> A really nice thing, I don't know if we've mentioned totally, is just how narrow this machine is, yep. right? It's, mm -hmm. it's, you got plenty of room here under an 18-inch cabinet, if that's what you got. Um, and I think, you know, we're about eight and a half inches here. So very narrow as far as these machines go and very easy to use. So we got Todd back there behind the camera. I'm Mark. That's the Gaja Anima Deluxe. It's available at wholelottheylove.com. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Hey, Mark from Whole Latte Love. We're very excited today to introduce the Gaja Anima. We got Todd behind the camera today. Hello. Um, so the Anima, there's three models of the Anima. We have the deluxe model here. There's a regular Anima and then a Prestige that's above it. What sets this one apart? is the screen and also it uses a cappuccino tori for dealing with milk. So you've got just a pitcher of milk here. I'm going to get uh, some milk froth going for a latte macchiato and then we can talk about some of the other parts of the machine here. So I'm just going to push the milk froth button here. It's that simple. And it's going to start dispensing that froth into our glass. Now while it's doing that, let's take a look at the other buttons here. We've got espresso, espresso lungo. Here's where you choose uh, your coffee strength. Okay, I'm going to zoom down yeah. for a minute. Yeah, let's take a look at the, the kind of the froth you're getting there. Yeah. 